everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel. Well, it's Wednesday yet again, so now it's time for another Channel Chat Wednesday video, but I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I'm going to first talk about stacking some copper and show you what I've been up to with my copper stack, and then we will get to Channel Chat episode number six. So let's get right into copper. All right, guys, so this is what I've been up to with my copper stack. I have been sorting all my 95% copper cents, anything uh, pre-1982, but I also am interested in sorting my 82s, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but this is as much copper as I was able to get out of uh, my pocket change. Now, this is a pocket change that I've saved for probably about a decade, maybe more, and uh, I had to sort through at least three or four times this to be able to reach this amount of copper. But this is a significant amount of copper, 95% copper, just from stacking uh, your one cents, so your US cents. I also have sorted a bunch of other really cool things. Uh, just so you guys know out there, uh, for the Canadian one cents, your pre-1986 coins are 98% copper. So uh, during my, my copper hunt, I happened upon an awful lot of Canadian uh, cents in my in my search for copper. So I have those put aside. And then, of course, I have this uh, bag of 82s we're going to get into. I have not uh, separated the coppers out from the clad in this, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And then, of course, I separated out any wheat cents that I did find. So let's move uh, right to the scale, and I'll show you a few things. All right, so here we are with the scale, and I've transferred all of my copper pennies into, or copper cents, into this baggie you know, so I can load it onto the scale. And we're going to switch this over from grams to pounds. Copper is sold by the pound. So let's see how many pounds of copper I was able to pick out of my change over a long period of time. Uh, looks like, see if I can get this whole thing on there, there's a lot of copper. I might not be able to get it completely accurate. I'm going to call that almost nine pounds of copper. That is, that's, that's awesome. That's fantastic. So well over eight pounds of copper in my copper stack. If I could get everything on the scale, I'm sure it would probably hit nine pounds. Uh, but that is copper that's simply been picked out of my pocket change. So one of the last... Uh, bits of metal you're going to be able to find, real metal that's worth anything. Even though copper is an industrial, like a base metal, not a precious metal like silver, it's pretty much the last metal worth picking out other than possibly only recently nickel. <laughs> that's a recent development. If you're interested in copper, uh, pennies are the way to go if you want some, uh, some free copper. All right, so I have the scale set for grams here. This is my stack of 1982 uh, U.S. cents. So I'm going to show you how to sort your 1982s. Some of these are going to be 95% copper and go in the copper stack, and some are not going to be. The easiest way to tell the difference is to weigh them. So I've picked two pennies out that are both 1982s for demonstration. Very similar pennies. And one of these is going to weigh different than the other. So your copper penny is going to weigh 3.11 grams, and your non-copper penny is going to weigh uh, 2.5 grams. So we're going to find out which one is which. So your first cent up, 2.5 on the nose. This is not a copper penny. That one right there. Now we'll go in the clad uh, bucket. And this one right here, this 1982, three grams. So my scale is slightly off. This is definitely a 1982 copper penny. Obviously, it weighs 0.5 grams more than its non-copper counterpart. So this will go into my copper stack. All right, stacking pennies can be an awful lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy sitting down and watching the videos uh, that are out there that are all of you creating and sorting my, my copper pennies. So... Uh, now let's move on to the channel chat portion of the video, and to begin channel chat, I'm going to talk about a gentleman who does not have a channel, but he's a great member of the community, and uh, I purchased some 90% silver from him recently, he sent a note along, it says Silverstruck, enjoy the 90%, I sent a little extra something for you, HD Dyna Lowrider. So let's see what he sent along. 
and it's a little much to be honest with you. It's fantastic. He sent me a whole bunch of copper. Unbelievable. Really, really nice pieces of copper. So uh, just excited to have these in the stack. And uh, HD, you kind of outdid yourself here. Um, this, these are fantastic pieces. So you can see this one is uh, 583 grams of copper. I love the cube shape. This one's my favorite because it reminds me of uh, some of the vintage silver bars out there. Just a really cool copper piece. Fantastic. This one's more your traditional pour. A little bit of a uneven wedge shape, which I love. You can see uh, it has some character to it. Really nice. 360 or 350 grams. Remember, silver struck is half blind sometimes, so if... If I'm looking at something and, and read it wrong, it's because I'm looking through my phone. And this wedge piece is really cool, too. So, really nice. Thank you, HD. Uh, I really appreciate you, brother. And uh, thank you also for the deal on the 90% silver. I appreciate it. All right, next up is channel mail that I got from the one and only Fishy Fish. So, uh, let's see what he sent. I know I won a ga from his channel recently. So that's pretty cool. He sent a letter along. Silverstruck. Thank you for always supporting my channel and others in the community. Appreciate you, McDuck. Your fishy friend, Fish. <laughs> he calls me McDuck. It's kind of funny. But that's my that's my nickname. So I guess it's gonna have to it's gonna have to stay. Uh, thank you, Fish. <laughs> I did open this to make uh, life a little easier here, and uh, he sent along. A button, and I've been actually wanting one of these buttons, so uh, thank you very much, Fish. Awesome. And this is the Gawain 1943 Walker. Love how he signs his flips. That's really nice. Very cool. I hardly ever win uh, Gaw, so uh, pretty excited to win this one. Uh, thank you so much. I have to believe that most of you that are watching uh, this channel... Also, watches the Bionic Fishy Fish, but if not, please check them out. It's an awesome channel. All right, next piece of mail is from somebody that I cannot show the envelope, but you will recognize her sticker. The one and only Mrs. Anna T. So, very nice stickers. She's over in Italy, and matter of fact, Sicily. I think I got that right. Two Silverstruck from Anna T. Blessings. Very nice. Another sticker here. The non uh, shiny version. Stay awesome. Keep stacking. It's awesome. And another sticker from Anna T. Always stay positive. Fantastic mes messages, Anna T. Thank you. Fantastic messages indeed. Um, I've been wanting Anna T stickers for a long time. She's one of the early supporters of my channel, and she does a great job over there uh, at her channel, stacking an awful lot of BU Constitutional and Walkers and uh, BU Morgans and Peace Dollars. She has tubes going of the uh, Barber Quarters and Halves, so just an amazing job uh, that she's done with her stack and channel. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, again, if you're watching my channel, you probably know about Anna T. If not, definitely worth a drop by her, her, uh, her channel and check her out. All right, the last mail is from a brand new channel on YouTube. Sent a letter along. Silverstruck. Wanted to get a sticker out to you and a little something you can add to your Stein. Thanks, AG Stacker 1776. And he sent uh, he sent along a dime. You know what? I'll get that out. All right, let's see. He sent along a nice rosy. Sorry, these are hard to handle sometimes on camera. Very nice piece of constitutional. Gotta love the rosies. I have more mercs than anything, so it's nice to have a a rosy. So thank you very much, AG Stacker 1776. Let's check out his channel sticker. Here it is right here. I think it's a really nice clean design for a sticker. He has the stars all the way around the outside of the uh, the sticker. AG1776, so AG Stacker1776. So well done. Uh, I like the sticker a lot. Like I said, nice clean design. And 
uh, AG Stacker has a really nice channel. Uh, I've watched a number of his videos, and I think he's definitely worth a watch. He has a lot of things going on over there on his channel, and uh, it's uh, it's nice to see new members of the community uh, come up with their own YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked out AG Stacker, uh, please uh, give his channel a shot and go check him out. All right, so there you have it. Episode 6 of Channel Chat Wednesdays all wrapped up. Please uh, check out AG Stacker 1776, Anna T, the Bionic Fishy Fish, and a big thank you to HD. I really appreciate all of you. Please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.